lives become so enchantingly productive, so exquisitely fulfilling, that everybody goes around saying, I want what they've got. I want to have that sense of joy every day. I want a little bit. How do I buy that? You can't buy that. You got to do a practice every single day. You got to get up in the morning. You got to hit the mat. You got to stretch out your body. You got to move into your body glove. You got to eat living food, not food that screams. You've got to create this existence within your body so that you're fully occupying it, nothing else can, then you have to be able to use those indicative languages, those mantric languages, to clear the brain. Otherwise, the brain is just going to be echoing all of the stuff that's going on around all of these 7 billion people, all making noise. So when we do this, when we do this as a collective, when we do it as individuals, we get together and we do it like we're doing today as a collective, we gain leverage. We'll start outliving the common life. We'll start being healthier, more vibrant, more vital than the, com than, than the common life. We'll start having all of those attributes that the common life will desire. And so the common life, the undeveloped life, will come seeking it. I want what you have. Remember that scene in Harry Met Sally? Mm -hmm. They're in that <laughs> restaurant and <laughs> Sally fakes an orgasm. The waitress goes around to another table, can I take your order? And she says, yes, I want what she's having. 